This is a short demonstration of how we're using the General Aviation keyboard modification. We're going to set the NAV1 receiver without using the mouse. For this demonstration, we're sitting on the ground at our local airport. We'll just tune in the frequency for the VOR on the field. Push the NAV SELECT button and these numbers are highlighted on the standby frequency. We're using the increase selection and decrease selection buttons to tune the NAV radio. Push the NAV SELECT button twice and tune the numbers to the right of the decimal point. The frequency is 111.4. switch it to the active frequency. Now we verify that we've tuned the correct station. Press VOR1 ID, listen for the Morse code identifier, and check that against your chart. Then press VOR1 ID again to silence the Morse code. By the way, we're using default FSX events that we've remapped to the button locations on our modified keyboard. There's no coding or hacking necessary to do this. Now we will center the OBS needle. Press the button that looks like the OBS knob and use the increase selection and decrease selection buttons to center the needle. We're dialing in the bearing to the station in this example. And that's it! You can modify a keyboard like this for your flight simulator. You can also build the GA home cockpit frame that we're showing here. Our videos and instruction manuals show you how to build your own. It's a do-it-yourself project, so check out DIYFlightSims.com for more info.